find him. All right. Time to go. White Lily. Um, yeah, definitely she has a uh, something for Nivellet. But um, I don't know. Seems strange. All right, uh, Bran. Uh, I need to. Um, I need to get my welfare meal. So if you so, if you so please. Greetings. What can I do for you? I'd like your welfare meal, please. And thank you. Understood. Enjoy your meal. Thanks. A welfare meal. Let's see what this one says. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here. All right. Ooh. Delicious mint jelly. You guys remember when Paimon wanted to um, to have a uh, a, smi a, sp a smile, the slime dish as a present to Lady Ningwon in the uh, Leeway Art on West? Yeah, that was something. <clears throat> Apparently slimes are, are tasty, so who would have thought? Um, so delicious mint jelly restores ten percent of max HP and an additional a thousand. I mean twelve k, twelve hundred HP uh, to the selected character. A refreshing dish, desert. The why am I? Why do I have trouble speaking today? A refreshing desert. A refreshing dessert. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. The perfect springiness makes for a lovely sight indeed when you stretch it with the back of a small spoon. Taste that spoon spoonful and that cool and refreshing feel will spread through your mouth instantly. The spelling and any negative emotions may harbor to the point where you feel like you've become a new person. And what does the fortune slip say? Don't worry, everything will get better. At least that's what they asked me to write. Well, <laughs> oh, thank you for the ton of confidence. Truly appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Thanks. So, to go below, I think you have to take to a lift to the production zone. Rave, what are you doing here? Yeah, so Rave is one of the uh, characters that you can see in the unfinished comedy comedy event. So there he is. You shouldn't have turned down my offer. I don't regret my decision, though. I hope you'll be able to stick to your convictions until the end. Then, yeah, because um, he was trying to recruit us. Due to the fact that um, we were with Caterpillar and he wanted to. Well. <clears throat> Technically, he, want, he wanted to screw uh, Caterpillar up by pushing us to his side. Since apparently the two have history. I guess we'll know and we'll see later on. But yeah, we have to go down there, right? Oh, where's this? Um, oh, right here. Alrighty. One with nature. Something wrong. Very, something's wrong, very wrong. My head is dizzy and I feel like my brain's going to burst. Excuse me, but I think it's you, uh, the slate. Something's definitely wrong with the, those yellow green stones. I think I'm going to die here. Um, are you alright? In the 
long run, we'll all be fine. But I'm going to be fine before you are. Yeah, that's definitely uh, a new way to use the word fine. You don't sound fine at all. No, I'm fine, literally. If something's wrong, it's too late anyway. So, are you alright or not? I was very confused. Uh, can you please be more specific? Specifically speaking, when I come to the production zone, I get headaches and heart palpitations, and my hands and feet grow cold. Yeah, that is not a good sign. I'm done for. Do you know what I mean? I'm done for. Gee, it must be the yellow... Uh, <clears throat> it must be the yellow-green stones. They're evil. You know of those stones, right? The central laboratory of the Fontaine Research Institute? The yellow-green stones destroyed everything. Um... Why don't you go see Sejuine? I mean, granted she's not there at the moment, but she'll be back soon. I mean, I, I think. Why don't you rest up in the infirmary? Oh, you are. Okay, I'm sorry. I am a doctor. I know. Wait, I'm no longer a doctor. I lost my certification and I can't do official diagnosis. Um, Ashley, do you have a, a case of Alzheimer but, or something similar? Because I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the yellow green stones that give this kind of effect to people. And if it is, then, um, then I don't know what to say. But anyways, uh, sure. Please find a real doctor with certifications to save me. Please. What a strange adventure. <clears throat> this sounds pretty serious. Let's go find a doctor, Emil. Yeah, okay. So, R. Um, so I have to go back up. Oh, no, it seems to be right there. Let's go find him. Troll, or are others in trouble? You both, you both look healthy, so it must be the latter. Indeed. Explain that late situation. Hemogen. Uh, can you treat him? His headache, or his delusions? I mean, delusion is not uh, a word that is. Really great to that, so maybe you should refrain from using delusions, you know, because you know, uh, okay, we got a casualty from, I mean, from, from delusions, you know, tepe. Rip, my boy tepe. You know, it's using delusions, they need it, it could get him to make him stronger but yeah oh well <clears throat> huh you mean he's not that sick based on his lab results most likely not I heard that he misdiagnosed the patient where he was still on the outside 
ignoring some early warning results and health chair outcome. Well, he's been he's been a little paranoid ever since. It's like that to others, and worse when he comes himself. And yeah, okay, but how about the yellow green stones then? No one else is having those same health issues, right? But I don't very well ignore him, so please, give him this. Isn't this pure water? Are you sure? Oh, so you know what this is? It's fine in the sense that it does no harm to the body, but and it will give him boost. So, he doesn't know. As far as I know, he stays away from these drinks. But I gave it to him before, telling me that it was a health potion. And he did actually show some more vigor after drinking it. So what, is it like some sort of um, hypnosis? Like, uh, if you drink this, you'll have this power later? Or making the patient believe that... Um, believe that he'll get better so he's thought he's starting showing signs of it he's there so let's go tell him what the doctor said we're back the doctor gave you this. Shrey takes the pure water and drinks all of it immediately. Ah, me. That's better. Vajra fills me once again. Um, that's it? Wasn't that a little too fast? Or... Or Dern? is a really good doctor, and certified too. The medicine he prescribes always works, unlike mine. Okay, so you have, um... PTSD? Or you have doubts? Uncertainties? That trouble you? And that make you forget, forget who you are? What about the yellow green stones? Suspicious. Hmm. Huh. Guess his delusions can't be helped. Now I can keep working. Thank you so much for helping out. Here, take these coupons. Just a little something to show my appreciation. Stay healthy. Sure. I don't know what's happening with Caterpillar Lenoir. Okay, so the girl is named Lenoir. The little girl. Yeah, but we haven't finished. Did I... Have I already gotten 500 coupons? Really? Okay. So, um... Hey, Nizami. What's up? Young warrior. Will you spar with me? Uh, this is super sudden. <laughs> yeah, this is super sudden. Whatever you say, lad with golden hair, I can tell that you're a veteran of just one look. I'm really bored because no one has been sparring with me. If you will, I'll give you coupons. I want a lot of those from Rosimov, and I haven't figured out how to spend them yet. How about it? Sure. <laughs> Just what I need. Ha! <laughs> Good. You're a straight talker. Let's go somewhere spacious. Where? You will follow Nizami to the pancreation ring. Alright. A bit of uh, a... Bit, a bit of sparring. Nothing crazy. Where am I? You are not welcome here. I'm not too easy on you, so there's no need to hold back. Yeah, me neither. Incoming. <clears throat> With sword comes shadow. Of course, it's going to be laggy. Well, 
Not as quick. Ha! It's celebrating. I knew it, lad. You're worthy opponents. You're not bad either. It seems I need to work harder. Anyway, I'm a straight shooter, just like you. Here are your coupons. Let's do this again sometime. Sure. Anytime. Fists of Fury. So... Yeah. I already got the commission points for gathering as well. Alright. Alright. Genevieve. Hello. Uh. Uh. Let's be direct, shall we? Alright. I'm hoping you'll join us in launching a protest against Istien. Huh? Since you're taking part in this game as well, I think that you'll understand my position. The rules should be more open and transparent. Mm -hmm. well, and, um, <clears throat> what's the catch? The competition should restart with new the new rules in place. What? Wouldn't that make all the hard work we've done so far be for nothing? What's so crazy about that? It happens all the time in academia. You realize that there's an error in your thesis or methodology, and it completely invalidates the conclusion you arrived at after years of research. Yeah, I'm having some 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 kind of PTSD from that. Pretty sure that's nothing like this. Maybe for the next time we run the game, we just play it as it is this time around. Indeed. Inter iterating and improving the rules will take time. We may not be able to get them implemented until the next time the game is held. No. I need this game to be fair. To me, the late fairness is a pointless loss. I've lost so much time already because of this. Hmm. I won't think you have the right idea, but... But this isn't a decision that can be made just by us. Right? Maybe you could go ask the others as well. I said we'll only change the subject. And as for Rave, you kids had better keep your guard up around it. As kids? Mmm, that kinda grinds Paimon's tears, but maybe that really is how other people see us. Yeah, just a bunch of kids. Anyway, thanks for the tip. But Paimon's not sure we can help you. Fine. I anticipated, uh, anticipated as much. And I'll leave you to do it. To it. Good luck out there. My luck hasn't exactly been great, but I won't be throwing the towel that easily. Okay. I'm gonna also hope that your luck improves. Alright. So I got some things out of that. So I'm just going to put that here real quick. <coughs> Commission award. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, who, is that this chin or? No, it's Noai. Okay. Yeah. So Noai is one of the guards that is in this world quest. So. Yeah. Well, what's that guard doing here? Just who I was looking for. Uh, did something happen? The investigation is ongoing, so I can't disclose any specifics to you. However, I'd like you to answer a few of my questions. As you probably know, the missing records need to be recreated. This isn't necessarily bad news for him, but that without those wretches, he won't be able to leave this place even if he has legally redeemed himself. As such, I hope you can answer my questions honestly. 
Do you know when Caterpillar arrived in the fortress of Meripede? Nope. Uh, he just said that he came here a long time ago. So, yeah, we don't know when exactly. And I don't suppose in the specifics of his sentence or crime. No, we don't. Do you know anything about this monster quote he mentioned earlier? Paimon doesn't remember Chats Caterpillar mentioning him before. Have either of you observed anything peculiar happen while speaking to him? Uh, well, the stories he tells have a rather hypnotic effect, but yeah, apart from that, Nothing so far. Not so far. Okay then. That's enough questions for today. It doesn't seem like you know very much, but if you do notice anything strange, make sure to report it at once. It's for your own good. No I leaves. Thank you. Looks like we don't know much about Caterpillar after all, but if he doesn't want to talk about his crime or sentence or anything like that, Paimon thinks we'd better not press him. Uh, I'm not really concerned about any of that. Well, he didn't ask much about our pasts either. But whatever the case, he's doing a good deed right now, isn't he? The Noir seems to really trust him as well. So he's probably not a bad guy. At least for now, right? You can never go wrong with a little caution. Yeah. After you wait patiently for a little while, Caterpillar and Lenoir return. Mr. Limo, Miss Paimon, you're both so fast. I just carried away talking to Mrs. Delvana. She even gave me some candy. She said they're made from a fruit that grows on the trees in a desert oasis. So in Sumeru? Uh, what is... I, I, don't, I don't remember the name of that fruit that grows on trees. I don't remember. Ah, oh, I, I think it's the uh, Alejena nuts. I think. Yeah, maybe. Um, but yeah, uh, as you guys can see here, uh, Caterpillar is not a normal uh, kid. You can look at his arms, and. and it's uh, feet as well. I mean, feet, legs. And his pupils seem to be dilated as well. Which is quite suspicious. Well, now. I asked her what kind of place a desert oasis might be. And she said it's a little body of water surrounded by a vast sea of sand. Yep. Doesn't that sound just like the fortress? Except, you know, opposite, since this place is surrounded by water. Once you leave this place, maybe you'll get to go there and see it for yourself. That reminds me, after all the hard work we've done, we must have advanced by now, right? Speaking of that... Oh, we're still far away though. Speaking of that... I asked Estienne and here's what where things stand at the moment. Still we're not, we're not, we're still not close to the first parts with Geneviève and Poiré and Brave, so I mean we basically haven't advanced at all? How could that be? It's like the competition's been hard at work too. Indeed. Rave has some contacts, and the researcher and detective assistant will have their own ways. Surely it's the time to be singing our rival's praises. Is there really nothing we can do? We're definitely gonna lose at this rate. We're gonna lose? But if we lose, we can all stay here in the fortress, right? We've talked about this before, Lenore. If we stay here, 
will have to worry each day about being taken away by evil sorcerers. Oh, and I guess it would be better to leave. But, but Miss Paimon said we are definitely going to lose. Well, we're not going to lose. Um, the game's not over yet. There's still enough time. We're going to win this. Yeah. If we don't, if we don't win this time, there's always next time. But. I have to say, though, that an underdog victory will be more exciting. The fact of the matter is, there are only two teams ahead of us. We've got nothing to worry about, and the points between the two teams that are, that are ahead of us is not too far. So, if we are, I mean, if we do things right, we can go past them too, in a heartbeat. There isn't much time left until the deadline is yet set. Let's just meet at the message board in the administrative area next time. Oh, there isn't much left until the final results are announced, is there? Hyman has a feeling she's going to toss and turn in bed tonight. You can tell me in secret if you feel scared, Miss Paimon. Huh? Uh, seriously? A kid like you worry about Paimon? I won't get scared. You're the one who should be scared. Paimon hopes you'll have sweet dreams, Lenore. Don't worry. I'll had, I've had lots of nice ones. In fact, I wish I could give some of it to the two of you. Uh, take a break nearby. Written on it is some common knowledge easily understandable to children. About the Noir and Caterpillar. The candy Miss Galavana gave me is so sweet. Remember to brush your teeth before bed. Okay, I will. <laughs> it's like an older brother or, or a father or something like that. Alright, let's take a break then. Rest. Should we rest now? Yes, we got everything here. Let's rest for a bit. It's my turn to tell a story. I've heard enough stories to tell one of my own now. Alright, you can be the storyteller this time around. Okay, my story will also begin in a giant's garden. Okay. Long, long ago, in a garden full of purple flowers, there lived a prince, a princess, and a brave hero. Oh, and the ruler of the garden? A giant with a nasty temper. What the witch wanted more than anything were some of the purple flowers. The mean giant treasured them so much that he wouldn't let anyone pick even a single one. Giant hearted Mr. Giant, the witch asked. I am in need of the little purple flowers from your garden. You have so many already. Could you please share just one with me? But the mean giant refused. Every flower in my garden belongs to me, the giant shouted. I won't share them with anyone. Giant hearted Mr. Giant, the witch continued. Please hear my tale. I traveled, I traveled here from the fountain in a far off distant land. Okay, so now there's ocean it. This here my tell. I traveled here from a fountain a fountain in a far off distant land. An ocean it there has fallen ill. And the scent of those purple flowers brings her comfort. Egeria? If you could give me just one of them, perhaps the condition will improve. But the giant, who didn't have an ounce of compassion in his heart, callously refused the witch's request. What did an oceanid in the faraway land have to do with him? Then, the witch asked, Is there anything I can do for you? I know many magic spells. 
and I could use my magic to help you with someone's change. Will you agree to my request, giant-hearted Mr. Giant? The giant thought it over, then said that he had lost something very important to him. If the witch could use her magic to help him find it... So... They made a deal? Yep. In the end, the witch's friend recovered, and the giant found what he had lost. Isn't that a better story? At least in this story, everyone gets a happy ending. The game will be over soon. We have to turn this around today. In addition to taking commissions, I wonder if there are ways to get tons of coupons in one go. Okay. Caterpillar probably went to get coupons elsewhere, but let us some clues. The south side of the dormitory block, and the southeast side of the production zone's upper level. We'll take our chances.